But tonight, some upset parents in the city of Cordova over the Board of Education's plans to build a new elementary school. Now, some of those parents feel their voices aren't being heard. WVTM 13's Gladys Bautista was at a meeting to discuss the proposal and shares how members of the community plan to move forward. Community members packed inside Cordova City Hall today to share their opinions on a new proposed elementary school here. With the plans as they stand right now, they say they don't feel heard. More than three dozen Cordova residents voiced their concerns over a plan to build a new elementary school. It doesn't fix the traffic problem, and that is a huge problem. While Cordova Mayor Jeremy Pate explains a new school is needed. It's the oldest school in Walker County by, by at least 20, 20 years. Community members like Tiffany Ingram are at odds with the Board of Education on how to best get it done. They have multitude, multitude of plans and some of them can be good on paper. I don't think they're good for Cordova. The original plan was to consolidate Cordova Elementary School and Bankhead Middle School. The new plan announced today would build a new 29 classroom school at the current Cordova Elementary School site. But Ingram isn't sold on either idea. If they expand Bankhead, it does nothing for the traffic. If they build a new school on top of the hill for Cordova Elementary, it's going to make traffic worse. You know, I see that they have a plan for growth within the school and within the classrooms. To a certain degree, I don't think they're thinking big enough. Cordova wants to grow. And Pate believes a new elementary school can bring that growth if it's built on land near the city's Interstate 22 exit. An economic growth study shown at the meeting went through the impacts it could have. Having 400 students with 200, 200 plus being brought by cars every morning, every evening to get the car counts up to where we could attract something on our exit. With no board members in attendance, some like Velda Pettit hope they do find a way to listen in the coming weeks. I don't know if there's a perfect scenario and, yeah. and I think the board is realizing that and they're having a hard time making everybody happy and they, they're not going to be able to do that. In Cordova, Gladys Bautista, WVTM 13.